we've been keeping house plants for thousands of years and one would think we would have gotten really good at it but the fact is in our modern times most of us lack the basic skills and knowledge to look after plants or to do gardening how much light does my plant need what kind of soil should i put it in manure should i give it in what season why are the leaves turning yellow brown or black we have been running a plant nursery for the last 6 years and we routinely come across folks who seem to know very little about plants to the extent that they are almost scared of keeping plants just the other day one gentleman uh, called us in panic and uh, saying his plant plant is dying we asked him what is the watering schedule that he's been following so he very proudly tells us about how he's been spraying the leaves every day spraying now imagine you're in a desert you're thirsty you're lost your your lips are parched you can barely walk you're so dehydrated you have absolutely no hope and then you suddenly see someone carrying a flask of water you desperately ask him for some but the guy instead of giving you a drink splashes it all over your face is that going to quench your thirst so spraying is just like that you know so and we hear so many of these there are times when someone is gifted a plant you know an unwilling recipient someone who is not familiar with plants and they call us and they behave as if it's a creature from some strange alien world that they've never seen and know nothing at all about then there's the common complaint about my plant is not growing at all look at it it's the same size it's the same height it's not got any new leaves and it's been one whole day since i brought it home <laughs> you can't pull a child by the arms and legs you know and expect him or her to become taller overnight it just doesn't work like that it may sound exaggerated but trust us when we say we've heard the most absurd things when it comes to house plants someone will call and say oh the flowers have wilted i think my plant is dying uh, another person actually asked us can i spray paint the leaves to make them look a different color spray paint leaves of a plant actually happened then there was another friend of ours who who was gifted a, an artificial plant he went on to water it for two whole years not joking it's true true it's story true, true story <laughs> he went on to water it for two whole years before realizing before somebody actually told him it's a fake plant and and these people are all ceos they're engineers they're what nots you know that we're talking about they're successful people from all walks of life so clearly there is a disconnect uh, you know a growing disconnect between man and nature there is definitely a gap that needs to be filled it's a very uh, basic yet necessary skill that most of us seem to be lacking which is how to take care of plants now the information is out there but it does not actively find its way into our lives other than through the occasional google search there has never been a greater need to introduce gardening and plant study as a subject both formally and informally to treat it as an essential life skill given the growing importance of greenery in our lives and our modern cities think about it many of us in cities like bombay delhi in polluted crowded metros we've bought air purifiers to improve the air quality to help our families and children breathe better now imagine if you could teach those children the basic skills to freely grow and nurture the oldest and the best air purifier there is we believe uh, gardening is very much like cycling or swimming you learn it young and it stays with you for the rest of your lives it's not something that one forgets then why not equip young minds with basics to do with plant care research sorry research has time and again proven the physical and the psychological benefits of gardening as an activity of having plants around you let's have a look at some of these benefits So firstly it's an immersive outdoor activity and it's a great way to get children and in fact all of us away from our gadgets devices laptops what nots we're glued to technology the whole day it's a great excuse to step out get a healthy dose of vitamin d 
on a serious note a hands on gardening experience for children is a great way to give them first hand real world information which is not being fed through a screen moreover the more we teach children about plants the more they'll relate to them think about it they eat they sleep they breathe they drink and they grow just like each other even pointing out these basic similarities is a great way to cultivate empathy and develop a deeper appreciation of all living things you know how when we get a pet into the house how um, children are naturally encouraged to be more nurturing more caring more responsible the same happens with plants if we introduce plant care to children early enough it will have the same effect on them and it will further sensitize them towards nature these days uh, children are under so much pressure you know to excel at everything in such a scenario again gardening would be a very very helpful tool because it releases endorphins that help battle stress and anxiety leading to overall better mental health adding to that gardening also improves brain function it puts us in close contact with beneficial microorganisms in the soil which test our immunity which improve it in the process studies have time and again shown that people who are closer to nature have lower blood pressure better sleep quality after all it's a meditative activity it teaches us to be patient it gives us a purpose a sense of pride the list of benefits goes on and on personally for me i was uh, fortunate that i've grown up seeing my mother being an avid gardener she was always collecting uh, exotic plant species she was mostly found tinkering in her garden getting her hands dirty most mornings she could barely wait to finish her chores and send us off to school so she could get busy with her plants and her garden and my father who was in the army he has served at the front lines many a times but he has also commanded a special ecological battalion that planted lakhs of trees in the deserts of rajasthan needless to say both my parents have um, acted as great inspirations for me when it comes to learning about plants and nature but this cannot be a privilege that only a few enjoy we believe all children should have access to organized channels for learning the essentials to do with plants and gardening look at schools they have open spaces they have greenery they have parks it's a great starting point it's a natural laboratory where children can freely explore observe and learn apart from academia we believe the movement should be driven through various other establishments such as rwas community spaces like public parks sports clubs and of course neighborhood garden centers theoretically we could teach children the most common house plant varieties their names benefits their care and seasonal aspects in terms of theory in terms of practical knowledge we could do activities such as repotting of a plant propagation techniques pruning fertilizing it's an endless field and there are many many things to learn one can also sensitize kids from an early age towards sustainable activities such as composting and making bioenzymes which can replace commercial chemical cleaners all of these learnings will prove to be useful throughout one's life angad and i are soon going to be parents ourselves <laughs> thank you <laughs> and as cliche it may, as it may sound we would love to raise our children in a world where plants gardening nature are considered to be subjects equally as important as any other subject thank you in conclusion we would like to leave you with uh, a simple question to ponder upon when to enrich the lives of our children and to ensure their all round development we encourage them to take up varied classes like karate classes dance classes swimming classes language classes craft classes why not gardening classes thank you thank you